Hey there, welcome to the 40th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. Let's continue to look at JavaScript objects by creating our own custom methods and adding on to what we've learned so far. What you have in front of you is what we le where we left off in the last tutorial where we learned to create our own custom objects in JavaScript. So we're going to change this around a little bit and create our own methods. The one thing you'll notice uh, that's different in the syntax of the object constructor is that I changed the method to include the word this dot before the method. Uh, before the method name. Uh, it's because that is necessary. You want to tell JavaScript that this method belongs to this object, whatever object you're using. Uh, the reason I didn't do this in the last two tutorials is because I didn't want to take focus away from actually uh, learning to create objects uh, step by step. So let's create a custom method. Let's change what we have here. Uh, this is too many variables. We'll just keep x and y for now. Uh, get rid of this for now. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more um, variables here, a couple more uh, properties for our objects. So we'll just do name and price. Uh, just uh, an idea of what methods to build here because, like I said before, make call, I don't, I don't even know where to begin with that. So let's include this.name equals to name and then this.price equals to price. So the two methods that I have in mind is to uh, one called belongs to, which uh, where if your user calls that method, it tells you who this phone belongs to, what kind of phone it is, and who it belongs to. And the price will do something with the price as well. So before we get into the method, uh, remember that we added two more uh, parameters to our object function. So we need to send that information when we're uh, creating a new object. So we'll just include, uh, let's say, NAS is the name. Uh, price, let's say it's, let's just say it's 100, just for simplicity's sake. And then here we'll do, let's say, Barry, let's say it costs $200. There we go. Uh, as you'll notice, I didn't put the number in quotes. You don't have to because we're sending an integer. Let's run it. So it created something. If we open our inspect element, you can say that you can see that it's still working, it still says white on the console log, but we're not going to use that. So let me get rid of that. Okay, now let's create our function. So we want to start off with uh, the word keyword this dot, and I'm going to call our method here belongs to camel case. Remember, case sensitive function. And what I'm going to have here is I'm going to have it return uh, a sentence that says this dot model. Oh, sorry, it's a start brand. Uh, this dot model. I'll explain what I'm typing here. Belongs to this dot name. Okay. So when somebody calls this method, it's going to return a sentence brand model belongs to blah blah blah. So in our case of variable x, object x is going to return NAS or uh, Samsung S7 belongs to NAS. So an example of this is if you're working with the uh, database and you want to see who a phone belongs to. This is a really rough, uh, rough object here. So let's actually call that. So we'll do belongs to. Remember, it's a method, it's a function. So you need to open and close parentheses. Now, if I do inspect element console, now if I run it, it'll say Samsung S7 belongs to NAS. Pretty straightforward, right? Now if we do the same thing for y, so console log y dot belongs to Samsung S7 belongs to NAS and then Barry because we're calling it twice. Uh, you can keep adding on to this. You can also do, uh, let's say we do uh, and the uh, OS is and we'll do this dot OS. Let's clear this. Let's run this. There you go. Forgot to concatenate. Remember that. Run. There you go. Samsung S7 belongs to NAS, and the OS is Android. iPhone, Apple iPhone belongs to Barry, and the OS is iOS. Pretty simple and straightforward, right? You're probably thinking, what about a function that takes in parameters like we have here? A method that takes in parameters. Well, you can do that too. So let's build one. Let me close this just to have some room. Remember, put a comma here because these are still part of the object. You need to make room for more. Uh, uh, everything is comma separated. So this time we'll do this dot total price 
equals to function. And the parameter we're going to pass through, the argument we're going to pass through is called tax. So let's say you want to find what the actual cost is based on whatever tax somebody paid. So we'll do return this dot price times tax. That's why I put the price in there earlier plus this dot price. So the, the math here is pretty simple. Uh, you multiply the price times the tax, which is a percentage, which is going to be a decimal point, and then you add that to the total price of the tax plus the total price. Pretty straightforward. I mean, I'm just going to update this. And then let's do console.log. Uh, we'll do, um, let's do a sentence. Uh, this phone costs. Actually, let's do, uh, let's add to this just to make it a little bit more complex, but also fun. It belongs to blah, blah, blah. And it cost, we'll do x dot total price. And then the tax we're going to send is a decimal point. So I'm going to do 0.10%. Again, the, 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 the trailing zero isn't necessary. I'm just keeping it there anyway. So what this will do is uh, it'll have the first sentence that we saw it and add to it and uh, it costs blah, blah, blah. Let's do the same thing here for Y, copy and paste, but not Y. There you go. Let's update. Let me open our console and run. There you go. Uh, Samsung S7 belongs to NAS and the OS is Android and it costs 110. Uh, you can also put dollar signs here if you want to make it more official. Let's get rid of that. There you go. And it costs $110 and it costs $220 based on the tax. Let's say the, the Apple iPhone for some reason had a different tax. Let's say it was a 25% uh, like tax for some reason because it's imported. So there you go. 110 and 250. So you can pass in uh, as many parameters, as many arguments as you like to your methods as long as your method is expecting it and you're probably doing something like that. Uh, you can have as many methods as you want to your object uh, as long as uh, you know you put used to it. Of course you don't have to, but uh, you can have as many methods, as many properties as you want to your object. You can make it as complex as you want or as simple as you want. Uh, or what we have here is, is is not too simple, but it's also not very complex because it only has a few properties and a few methods, and all it does is return stuff. There's a lot more that you can do with it. You can take information from here, pass it somewhere else, trigger another function, uh, get that data back, and then do stuff with it. I hope this tutorial was useful to you, uh, as well as the other 39 tutorials that I've done. Thanks for sticking with me for the last 40 tutorials. Uh, I plan on doing more, so come back for the 41st tutorial, which hopefully will be up in a week. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials in JavaScript, C++, and Excel. Uh, more coming soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.